To right center. Buxton over. Dies! Yes, sir! Got him. Not in time for the double play. Wow. Welcome back to five. The smile, the talent on display once again here in downtown Minneapolis. That's Superman right there. What a play. It is pretty obvious to see why that play was the Chevrolet electric play of the week, courtesy of Byron Buxton, who joins us now from uh, the NTT ballpark cam. And Byron, that was such an awesome play. I jumped off of my couch when I saw that, just kind of a Superman-esque. Tell me what's going through your mind as an outfielder. When you see Teoscar Hernandez hit that ball, you got to make sure you're running the right route. But take me through that play. Um... Yeah, it was uh, kind of a tough play. You know, uh, I was shaded a little bit over towards right field side. So uh, the biggest thing was getting a, a good jump and making sure that first step was there. And after that, you know, it's just kind of make sure your angles are right. Obviously, I'm not thinking about this as I'm running, but it's just one of those things where your instincts kind of kick in and you just let it take over. How much is it instinctual and how much is it just pure athletic ability? Um. I would say half and half. You know, I go out and <laughs> you can't practice that, but you can go out and, you know, practice your first steps, practice how to, you know, make yourself better and move better in the outfield. And I think that plays a big part into, you know, getting to, to that ball because otherwise it's been All a while right. since I've been in the outfield. <laughs> yeah, that was a, one of my questions, too, because last year, Byron, you were the DH because you weren't playing out in the outfield. So how important is it for you to be able to get out there in the outfield and make those types of game-saving plays? It's big. You know, outfield separates me from, you know, what I'm doing at the plate, especially if I'm having, you know, not the time that I want at the plate. So it gives me the opportunity to go out there and still contribute to the team and try to help us win in any possible way that I can. So you robbed Teoscar Hernandez on Monday night, the eighth. Then last night in the sixth inning, you robbed Ryan O'Hearn of a base hit. He tips his cap to you. Take me through that play. Which one of the two was more difficult? Uh, last night's for sure. Uh, just to the point of uh, I was dealing with the wall and the angle of the, you know, where the 410 sign was. And uh, for me, it's all about staying focused and making sure I make that catch. I know I'm going to take a hit at the end of the day. so. If you're going to take a hit, you might as well make an out with it. So it was all about focus there. It's funny that you say that because I'm thinking, okay, I feel the warning track dirt under my cleats. I know the wall is coming. I'm going to have to sacrifice my body. How much are you thinking about that wall in your head? Uh, not much. In the past, I didn't think about it at all, you know. So I think I got a little bit better with figuring out how not to slam into the wall and act like I'm <laughs> Superman all the time. And be a little bit more more careful and make sure that I stay on the field. I know that you can appreciate the work that Cedric Mullins is doing in the outfield too. When I first saw that diving catch from Mullins, I was like, oh my God, that might be the play of the year. How much can you appreciate yeah. his athletic ability out there? It's incredible. Uh, still don't know how he made that catch, you know, from <laughs> one outfield to another. That was, uh, it's, it's pretty incredible to watch from the other side. Obviously, you don't want him to catch that, but to be able to make that type of play uh, and be in person to watch it is uh, so the, it's incredible. It was a great play. Yeah, no, no doubt about it. You guys both have competing catches on opposite ends of, of the game in that one. All right, you had mentioned that it was so important for you, Byron, to be able to get back in the outfield and make those types of plays because right now you guys are not hitting collectively as a team. I know that you have some big guns on the IL, but how do we get things going offensively for Minnesota? Um, just got to bear down to those, you know, tough situations with run on scoring position, uh, put the ball in play and, uh, you know, good things are happen. We ain't been lucky lately, but still got to go out there and compete and, and do those little things. And once you do those little things, the big things start to happen. So just got to keep going and, and keep grinding and uh, things will change. And as I mentioned, you guys have some big guns on the IL. Carlos Correa, obviously, Royce Lewis, Max Kepler currently on the injured list. And you know Correa really well, a teammate now. But back in that 2012 draft, you were the second overall pick behind your current teammate, Carlos Correa. What's it been like just kind of playing alongside of him? 
Uh, it's incredible. He's so smart with the way the game is now. So it's more about picking his brain day in and day out and just trying to make yourself a little bit better. You know, um, obviously he done been to the World Series and a lot of playoffs. So he got a lot of knowledge on, you know, how to get there and, and keep us there. You know, so it's all about us keeping that chemistry and bond together, communicating and uh, figuring this out together. You guys uh, are playing, of course, at Camden Yards today. It is uh, the, what, the third game of a three-game set there against the Orioles. I want you to take me through the triple last night because it seems like you knew you kind of put in another gear, and it was like a gazelle running out there when you're like, you know what, I might be able to get three bags on this. Take me through that at bat. Um, out the box, you know, I'm always thinking triple. Uh, doubles are – they're not guaranteed, but if you – you know, get out the box like you're supposed to, that double is already there. So for me, it's all about thinking triple out the box. And, you know, I got the second so quick and he didn't have the ball uh, still rumbling around. And, you know, kind of a read for me there to take the next next 90 feet to make it easier for the next guy. Do you really like playing at Camden Yards? Because you have a heck of an on-base streak there. Uh, yeah, it's a fun spot to play in. Um, it's a good stadium. Uh, I see the ball pretty well here. Okay, uh, Jackie Robinson Day on Monday, of course, April 15th. Jackie breaking the color barrier 77 years ago, and you had some pretty sick cleats to honor the life and legacy of the great late Jackie Robinson. Tell me more about these. How did these come about? Because they're awesome looking cleats. Um, I know uh, guys at Stadium Kicks, and we communicate on cleats all year long, and they asked me, you know, did I want to do a Jackie Robinson Day tribute? And uh, I told them, yeah. And you know, they just kind of did up the concept for me and delivered them to me on Monday. And uh, couldn't ask for anything better, you know, especially tributing to Jackie Robinson and the color barrier. What does he mean to you, Byron? It means a lot. You know, obviously, without him doing the things that he did, I wouldn't be standing here. So each and every day for me is going out there and, and not taking a day for granted. Make sure that you enjoy and, and you know, just live up to plan plan this game because you can't play it forever and I don't want to leave here with regrets. Yeah, it's hard to believe that you're already in your 10th Major League Baseball season. I remember we were talking off camera when I interviewed you back in 2012 before you were drafted. Can you believe you've been in the league this long and how do you think your game has changed since that day? Um, I've been blessed. Uh, but still, still not you don't get used to being, being in the league because every day is not given. So for me it's like I said, don't come out here and take a day for granted because any given day that uniform can be stripped. So to have this many years in the league is it's a milestone that I didn't think I was going to get to in life. So it's <laughs> something that I cherish, something that I cherish a lot. Byron, if you keep making plays like that in the outfield, I think it's going to be a long time before they strip that jersey from you. Thank you so much for taking the time to be with us. Best of luck today against the Orioles and continued success and health to you.